Okay, our next um, movie is going to be looking at forums. And a forum is an activity which involves uh, a communication. A communication either between you and another student, or between you and your teacher, or all three, about a particular topic area. It can be a question and answer session, it can involve you posting one topic and other people discussing it, uh, it can involve multiple topics and multiple discussions. It's a very powerful and um, interesting and fun way of being able to discuss particular topic areas. And as I said, it can be set as an activity or it can also be a method of communication between you and the teacher or you and another student. So let's have a look at how we complete a forum. So we go to the forum section here and click on the link. And the teacher has posted a forum for us to complete here. And all they've said is start using the forum. Of course, it could be any particular um, instruction. So the way that we do it, clearly, we go to add a new discussion topic. So let's click on that. And you can see the instruction is still there for us to read if we want to. So we enter a subject for our forum. So this is my forum. Click in the text editing area and just type in a description. This is my forum. Please add any comments. Oops. Thank you. So just scrolling down a little bit. Now we've got a couple of options here. We can um, subscribe to this particular forum. Now that basically means that it will send us an email for each time someone else posts a comment to your forum, your particular discussion. Now it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. You have the choice whether or not to do that, to subscribe. Um, the only caveat, the only downside of that is your inbox and your email might start filling up pretty quickly. But if you're happy with that, then that's fine. At least it gives you an indication of whether somebody's posted a reply to your particular discussion. The other thing that we can do is that we can add an attachment. Now it can be any attachment, again the same as uploading a file. So it could be a picture that you want someone to discuss, it could be a document that um, you upload and want someone to comment on and that's a really good way actually of if you're in a group, a practical group, of being able to get feedback off other students. So you can add a, uh, a file, any file, to your particular topic area. And then we just post a forum. So it says we have 30 minutes to edit it if we want to. And there we are, we've posted it. And we can look at that if we want to by clicking on discussion on my forum. And that takes us to our um, topic. And there's the title there. And if you had a picture, it would show you your picture. Um, and there's your um, discussion going on there. It tells you exactly when exactly when you posted that. Now the other thing we can do is view the forum in different formats. We can display it in nested format. Now nested format basically means that your topic, your initial topic is at the top level and the next one somebody's reply is indented. Um, threaded form basically means that um, they're all um, put into one particular basket and then you can expand and contract on them. Um, Flat basically means they're all in line with each other with the newest at the top and you can have one here it says the oldest first so you can have your oldest one at the top and then it goes down in chronological order. And the other thing that we can do if we look here we can either edit that post remember you only have 30 minutes to do that we can delete it or we can reply straight to it. Now, replying to yourself is a bit weird but um, that's the option you've got there 
So we could do that. Reply. And you say it's got a, um, a re, uh, which means reply, my forum. And we type, this is a good topic. Well done. OK. And we're not going to we're subscribing to it. We're not going to add any. We're going to post a forum. Gives you that warning again. And there you go, you can see that that's been nested in, that's been indented, so it's in nested form. So all the replies are going to be in nested form there. Okay. So that's essentially a forum. You can get graded on these forums as well, and a teacher keeps track of it. Uh, as I said, it's a very good way of communication. Um, next thing we're going to look at is quizzes.